Kia ora, Leslie. Kia ora. Um, I've been hearing lots about the changes that the uh, Teaching Council is doing around the discipline process and really came to find out a wee bit about why, what's the motivation or background to that? Well, first, thanks for coming and asking your questions. I think it's um, great and really pleased to have you here. The motivation for the changes, a few things happened at um, the same kind of time. I was getting a lot of complaints about the length of time the uh, process was taking, where a matter was being considered by the council. Um, I was also, uh, I had received a pretty serious complaint from a group of schools that our process was racist, and that made me right. kind of stop and take uh, stock of, is it time to have a really good look at it? And so some of the things that we were wanting to achieve was to make sure that we held the mana of people and understood that um, as much as something's happened in order for them to have to come mm. particularly to a conduct uh, hearing, we don't know their life story. It's, we're not uh, you know, in, in that space of judging them or saying they're good or bad or otherwise. And so part of this was really doing a lot of thinking to say, how do we make this fair? How do we make sure that the high standards the teaching profession have are maintained? Uh, transparency mm. for the parties that should know what's going on. And that's balanced with privacy and confidentiality, but I think our waiting was so much on ensuring the teacher had privacy and confidentiality that people liked the, the principal or the professional leader or board who kind of submitted yeah. the thing, ended up in the dark and really unsure. So in practical terms, what actually is changing in that process? But one of the biggest things is we want the Complaints Assessment Committee, mm. which is the very first hearing, with a panel of teachers, and, and people forget that, but it's teachers sitting on these panels making these decisions, to make the decisions about professional matters. That's the design. The law as it was, was worded in a way that everything ended up at that next stage, which was our discipline tribunal, where a chair is the lawyer, with some teachers, uh, but that makes the process very long, very costly, and the right kind of matters weren't being decided by that CAC. And so rather than saying when we get a mandatory report mm. or a complaint, is this serious misconduct or might it be? And you've already got a little bit of information mm. at that point and you're determining the pathway. We've flipped it on its head and we've said, could this type of matter, this thing that's happened, eventuate in the suspension or cancellation of a certificate? Because we want the, the discipline tribunal to be for the very serious, most serious cases, which, you know, are really about child safety. That's mm, what we're saying. Mm, you know, where, mm. where, you know, children have uh, been harmed or impacted uh, severely, then it's right that it goes to the DT. But everything else should be determined by the profession, about reputation of the profession, about professional matters. That should be at the CAC. You were saying about teachers are involved in this process. I'm quite curious about where are they involved in the discipline process? We call it a panel. So if you go to the CAC or the DT, there's a group of people that uh, are deliberating and making decisions. At the Complaints Assessment Committee, the CAC, that is three teachers from the profession. Experienced teachers, hmm. be leaders. They're going to be from the same sector, early childhood, primary, secondary. There will be a lay person, which is a person that isn't a teacher, but represents the community kind right. of that the, the teacher uh, lives within or is from. And that's part of being a profession, actually, is mm. the profession themselves hold themselves to account and make decisions about what's right for the profession. You're the only people who are qualified and practitioners of this Mm. Up. Mm. The standards are yours, the code are yours, so you make the decisions. Yeah, so there's, a, there's an understanding of the context for the teacher when, when they face uh, those various panels. Yeah, absolutely. Are you anticipating that this is going to speed up things for, for teachers facing the discipline process? That's a key factor of why we're doing this. And I'm really curious around how you formed the tikanga Māori approach, so who was involved in developing those kind of concepts and main ideas? We have many well-respected and knowledgeable people who work in our education system um, in a Māori medium mm. space. Mm. Kai Papa Māori, uh, we work with our Kura A Iwi. Um, and so we have talked to Iwi, we have talked to um, 
those those groups who are educators. We are very conscious that the complaint we got uh, that really sparked some of the thinking, and and this has been over years mm. that we've been you know looking at how we do better. One of the things that came out of that was the teachers, of course, vulnerable, and the council need to be really careful that we don't. Um, interfere with the process for natural justice. So we get the right decisions by the right people determining them. So we've employed what we call, what is called a um, kaituitui role. And it's a person that sits, by, employed by the council, but sits outside of that formal process. Right. It is the person that will have a relationship with the teacher and their family, will guide them and support them and ask them questions. It'll be a one-to-one -one relationship so they can get hold of mm. them at any time to get an update, to test their thinking and knowledge um, just to feel really supported in the process. And to your point, Prisca, actually we all benefit from that. Mm. We really mm. do. Mm. And there's that notion there too, I think. It's beautiful to hear about that kaituitu role and that that's manakitanga uh, occurring. So there's that notion of mana through that care and, yeah. and, and compassion, I think, that is kind of shared in that space. Every step of the way, we have got the profession themselves, teachers and leaders of the appropriate sector mm. involved in making these determinations. That's yeah. really, really, it's just really neat to hear. And I think, again, affirming to hear about that involvement um, and, and the knowledge that, that teachers bring into that space that will support any teacher facing the discipline process.